Welcome to a new series about whether AI can help you on SoRare. I had a lot of questions on Twitter about how I extract data, and I was going to show you how I extract data, and then I found out there's actually AI that can do it. Shout out to this guy for the advice. So I'm using this AI called Browse AI, and I'm trying to get all of SoRare data's information, and it's currently just looking at where I want to select. So obviously I'm going to try and select this top bar and include everything. Select a text to capture um, everything. Visible text, yeah. So I think I've just showed the AI exactly what I want to copy. I don't want the HTMLs, I want the visible text, and hopefully I can find a way to move on. We'll just name it so rare. Call it so rare bot, see if that helps. And it looks like we've got 150 names. So it's got a great list of information. We're going to click scroll down, and then we're trying to get, you know, let's say a thousand names. It's probably a thousand names. Maybe we'll make it 500 to start. That looks good. And then capture list, you haven't you haven't named the list. I can name the list, whatever. I hadn't named it, so I need to name it. So rare champion Europe forwards. We want to get all 500 lists so we don't have to scroll down at all. And then we're going to finish the recording. And hopefully it knows how to do that now. The robot name is extract data from so rare data. It will be. And we can run the task. The biggest problem that I've ran into with this is that you actually, to do big data queries to get massive amounts of data, you need to pay credits and the credits are quite expensive, monthly, 48 pound a month, 123. And I don't think the channel is at that sort of stage where we can stomach fees like that for a couple of videos. So probably gonna have to avoid this one. Let's try it on 200 names, you know. Spin the server up and then it went to Google Chrome. It's now on so rare data rankings. It's obviously gonna need my login, so we'll see how it works for that, or we'll need a login. Um, I guess it has access to my account, but I have no idea on the security of that. Thankfully, there's nothing they could do on so rare data except for just browse all my, all my players, which is open to anyone anyway. So let's see what it does. And surprisingly, I think the part I got stuck at is logging in, so. So I think it's fair to say that Browse AI didn't actually work too well, but I'll still show you how I export data from so Red Data. It's not something I endorse because I don't really know too much about it, but I do use it and it's worked for me. So if you do want to try it, it's called Data Scrapper and it's an extension so you can get it. And it looks a little something like this. And essentially whatever it sees on screen, you can just download into a CSV or an Excel file. And if you scroll down more, it will you know start crawling through more data and essentially copy it into the CSV. So that's what I've done off screen and I've managed to export all of the champion Europe data Data that I could I did about 800 players and then I just uploaded it into a Google Sheets it's obviously free to use better than Excel um, in terms of cost at least and yeah it looks like this it's obviously not great we don't know what the headings are yes a lot of links which aren't great but you know it's really simple at the same time just to export that data into a cleaner sheet which is what I love to do so I give it the titles myself um, and then you can just link to each cell you know, split out the data here is what I've done. Format data, split text to column, and then I separated by spaces and then deleted all the rubbish. Um, and then I was able to filter by last 15, last 40. Then what I did was find the difference between their last 40 and their last 15. So this is what I'd call the underperformers. So, you know, Jao Cancelo is, you know, the perfect name for anyone that's looking to join the cap mode. If he's averaging 39.1, Man City is so good, he's going to get so many decisive actions from left back or right back, wherever he's playing, that... You know, he is a perfect pickup for the cap mode. And I was looking for more players like that because Cancelo is just going to be far too expensive because everyone knows about him. Everyone knows how good he is. So who's those little secret, you know, hidden gems, essentially? So we've got someone like Moussa Dembele. And Dembele is probably quite a good one, but he wouldn't need to get a move. He's not getting guaranteed minutes. And the problem is, so you keep coming back to this manual input where I had to find which one of these names had L40s that were massive because they're in a league that was much easier. So all of these names pretty much have moved from Challenger Europe into Champion Europe, and it's just not going to help us. So I did try and use uh, ChatGBT more AI obviously to um, try and solve that for us but unfortunately it wasn't able to give me a list but what we can do is see whether it can pick maybe a best suggested lineup in order then to identify if ChatGPT can help us pick our so rare team we're going to need to teach it the rules we've seen this is how ChatGPT can learn and it's one of the best things about AI is that you can give it information and it will take that into the knowledge bank so in order for ChatGPT to pick our best so rare team we need to teach it the rules so we're starting off with how many players it picks so I'm hoping it understands that now. I've asked it, if you understand that, can you pick five players from the below that would make a reasonable team then? I don't think it'll be able to do this. I'd be very impressed if it can, but let's see. We've got all the positions. Will it pick the goalkeeper? There's only one in this list. <laughs> we actually did it. That is wild. Okay, this has, this has potential. Let's see. Okay, so now we're relying on the cap mode. I'm explaining the cap, you know, 
um, you're going to see it on screen, but you know, the averages need to add up to a certain number or less than a certain number, really. Can it do that? Let's see again. This is looking pretty strong. It, okay, I'm going to have to check that number. That seems low, 202.5, but it, it's produced an answer. Okay, so some positives and some negatives. The positives are every last 15 was correct. The negatives though, I don't think it adds up to the right number, which would be the most surprising thing. I'm just checking my work here. I'm like, what have I got wrong? Because surely mathematics is the easy part of ChatGPT. It's, it, it's a calculator can do it, right? So I'm gonna get it to check the number calculation. It apologized and then got it wrong again. It's just so annoying because it's just got so much potential and it's just like missing you know, the key ingredients of just adding the numbers together to correctly. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't like a, an end all, but if it can get the right numbers, if you can get the right players, I think that's probably more important than the numbers because you can add them up yourself. But let's just try it again. Let's just say it isn't the correct answer. Okay, so it agrees that's the right answer. I'm even questioning myself now if that is the right answer because I don't know how it got it so far wrong. But we'll trust the spreadsheet. And what I want to know now, and this would be absolutely wild, is to give it a whole list of players and ask it how many combinations of these players add to 240. Imagine that. So your cat mode, you just like blitz in all of your players. Let's say you've got 40 players. You just blitz them in and say, how many of these combinations can actually make the perfect score? And then of those combinations, you can see which ones they are. That would be the dream, but I'm not getting ahead of myself just yet. I also don't know how many rows of data it can take, so I'm, I'm trying to keep it quite small. So I've asked, based on the rules below, can you get me a team between 200 and 220? If you're wondering where I didn't do like 230 and 240, it's just because I thought it'd be quite difficult to get 240 when all of the averages are quite low, because obviously I the initial set of data is low score and S out of last 15 players to try and find those bargains. Um, okay, it looks to have done it perfectly. Let's just double check that. No, 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 I did spot a mistake, no goalkeeper. So I'm gonna have to explain it to remember the rules again. Oh, the frustration again, because it's done the perfect correction. It added the goalkeeper, it used the same team from before but we know it doesn't add to 202, it adds to 196 and something. So I'll tell it again. And if you can't tell from doing these series, it's like, it's so irritating because it's so close. It's so close to being that, that groundbreaking experience, that groundbreaking software where you can just, well, I would just love to go deep dive into it, use it every single day and just like help me in my life or help me in so rare. Let's just say help me in so rare. Let's keep it simple. But it's like, having a really smart eight-year-old and you just it gives you all the information and then sometimes it just messes up something so silly and you have to go back to the beginning and be like no do you remember when you did this but look this is what the series is about right it's about learning ai it's not about you know using it to your advantage right now the whole the whole point of it is that i think ai will be so more powerful in five to ten years and it's like well if you have no experience with it you probably won't know how to use it right whereas like you know we've already learned so far you need to teach it things and it can get very basic things wrong and it can do very complex things at the same time. So we're learning together and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please drop a comment on it and let me know because I'm happy to keep doing these and, and people seem to be enjoying it so far. It got, it got it wrong again. I'm just trying to tell it now. Yes, okay, it got the right answer, 192.6. Perfect, so now I can tell it that's the right maths but you didn't reach the original question. So can you make the original question work? So I've told it all that. I've even reminded it of the rules to hopefully get it into the, the correct thing. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's got the right answer. It's got an answer. I just need to double check the math. Okay, so 210.1, the correct answer is 210.2, but I'm gonna give it that. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna check it again. I'm gonna say, are you sure of the maths? And then let it know everything else is correct. Um, I actually wanted to test it if it got the right answer and I then told it, are you sure? Would it then come up with the right answer? Because that would save me a lot of time and it would save you guys if you try this yourself a lot of time. 210.2, um, there we go. So now it's got the right answer. Like I said, I'll check it and say, are you 100% sure on the maths? And if it changes to the wrong answer, it's not going to be good. Oh no, okay. Come on, just put the same answer. 
Yes, yes, it put the same answer. So there is hope, right? If if it gives a wrong answer, you don't even need to check it. Maybe just say, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure, until it gives the same answer twice. So we're learning. This is the point of the channel. This is the point of the series. Come on. Now, this will be a challenging one. I asked them how many different combinations there are of this. I only included three goalkeepers, and we're trying to find still the 200 to 220, um, and it's currently just writing its answer. Okay, so it essentially says, um, you know, all of the correct information, and then it says 50 players taken five at a time, which is 2 million. It's probably a bit high. I wouldn't expect it to be that high. And then it says, sorry, I'm an AI language model. I do not perform mathematical calculations. So... That's interesting to know, at least. Now I'm giving it a quite easy query, but I'm not giving it much information. So I've just said, from the data below, can you tell me which has the biggest difference for each position? So essentially, I want to know who's the goalkeeper of the last 15 to 40 that has the biggest difference. Um, and then hopefully, you know, it does all of the positions and tells me. So there's only one goalkeeper in this data set. No, there's three goalkeepers in this data set still. So we'll see. Two out of three, not bad. It actually got... Um, defender correct, midfielder correct, and forward was second place. Baradi actually loses out to Undav, I believe it is. Again, it's everything's correct except for the striker. I'm taught, I'm stuck between being like, are you sure again? And it'll check and give me someone else or telling it who it was wrong with. I'm going to go with first, are you sure? Um, I'll go, are you sure? Double check the forward position. So you do need to have a lot of your own information still, your own knowledge on ChatGBT, and I think that's important for now. There is a paid version, which I've debated again, so if there is enough demand for it, and I do think there's value and it's affordable, I'd get involved with that. Went back to its original wrong answer, so we're going to have to tell it, what about Dennis Undav? Question mark, And then it hopefully will say, I apologise, I made another mistake. Um, the biggest difference is 17.9. Correct. And that is greater than 17.6 no question mark let's see what he says so it, it got the answer now i just need it to put it all together again but last time it missed out the goalkeeper so there is one final position it needs to get right Fafana is right because it's the top of the list cancelo is right we know that midfielder sioni is right forward dennis undav so it can do it okay there's a potential in here now we're going to get a little bit more tricky with chat gbt again we're going to ask it for the additional player, the extra player, who's the best? It loves this Marvin Dutch, but that is not correct. I mean, there's so many more players better than Marvin. I hear a lot about ChatGBT and how it's passing students' exams and all the rest of it, but I really do struggle to see how it will do this. It's not passing any math checks, but it did say in the above um, the above message that it's not a mathematical calculator at the end of the day. So, <sighs> just miles away on this one. We got so close, but it just can't work out the extra position. I think I'm going to give up on that. Um, it's not really essential. You know, four out of five, we'll call it a win. And I think that's probably where we're going to leave it for today. Look out for more episodes on this. Let me let me know below some different ideas that you think would be really cool to search up. So, you know, searching the best team. We tried a bit of scouting. You know, whatever else you can think of, I'm really interested to try these things and it can help all of us at the end of the day. If you like this, please leave a like and uh, please subscribe to the channel. And then, yeah, all the best to you. Cheers.